Welcome back. All right, so another news of the day video. And yeah, this is the brand new Centennial. I ordered this one from Pool Hockey. It arrived today. Not too shabby. I might have to play some more street hockey this weekend, I guess. Uh, it's supposed to be sunny this weekend. If that forecast holds out, yeah, uh, I can have another uh, little meetup this weekend because, of course, this would be the last weekend that I could. So that aside, let us get into news of the day. Starting with Trevor Zegras, it is a three-year extension for Trevor Zegras, $5.75 million per season. Uh, so this is a bridge contract. It's likely going to be uh, one of those deals that we look at as a bargain. At least I think so. I think it's going to be looked at as a bargain. So if the people who think that Zegras is overrated are right, this cap hit might end up being a little bit expensive, but not too bad if people like myself who think Zegras has a ton of potential could turn into a franchise player. Uh, if we're right, then the next contract's going to be really expensive. Now, of course, they have about $10 million left in cap space to sign Jamie Drysdale. Uh, but yeah, Zegers, three years at $5.75 million per season. Zegers' camp had to keep it above $5 million. That was That was where they were at. They were like, it has to be above $5 million. Uh, which apparently Verbeek and Zegers' agent finally got over this uh, late last week and the contract's officially signed this morning. So that's great news for Anaheim and their fans. Uh, having Zegers in the lineup makes a big difference. Uh, waiver wire news. So first off, we'll get into the claims. Uh, Jansen Harkins has been claimed by, from the Jets by the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, and Fagamo has been claimed by the Nashville Predators from the LA Kings. So everybody else from yesterday cleared. And there are some players who cleared yesterday, or well, cleared today that were waived yesterday that likely we'll look back on and say, I'm surprised that he cleared. Uh, but again, it's about just sheer numbers. Lots of players. Now, waivers today. Dallas waves Bayreuther, uh, Camano, Carlson, and Pouliot. Pouliot's still playing. Uh, he's been on a lot of teams. When Derek Pouliot retires, I'm really hoping he's in Selinger territory in terms of teams he played for. Uh, but Gavin Bayreuther is one that I like. I hope he gets through waivers because as a call-up, I think Bayreuther's fine. Uh, the Arizona Coyotes have waived a lot of players. Uh, they waived Unique. So after... Going through all of these these discussions with them over the summer, uh, it would be very interesting to see you know the Coyotes finally sign them, get him into camp, and then they lose them on waivers. That would be like the most off season thing that could happen. Uh, Camphers on waivers, Kirkland, uh, Leonard, Valalta, who of course is a a young goaltender they've picked up as well, uh, Crotty and Justin Barron also on the list. So there are always going to be players who get waived that you say, wait, seriously? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, Kaiser, goaltender for the Bruins, being waived, thus justifying me wearing the Centennial jersey. I might need to do another jersey countdown, because seriously, I think we got ourselves a new number one. Anyways, uh, I, I, I often feel that way when I first get them, though. Uh, Calgary, they waive Clark Bishop, they waive Dansk, Ben Jones, uh, they also waive uh, Colton Pullman. And so those are four players that I'm sure they'll hope uh, clear and get through. I would think they do. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, Florida's waived Asplund. They've waived Carlson. And surprisingly, Mayhew gets waived. Now, Mayhew had a really good preseason going. I'm guessing it's a numbers game. They just didn't have enough spots on the roster in order to accommodate him. Uh, we'll see if Mayhew clears or if somebody picks him up. Uh, again, he was having a very good training camp slash preseason. Uh, the New Jersey Devils have waived Chris Cuolo. Uh, so he's on waivers, and the Flyers have waived Belpedio, Brooks, Gardner, Marodi, and Victor Mete. So Victor Mete, the drive to get back to the National Hockey League is going to start in the AHL for him this season. We'll see how things go. And of course, if you're watching tonight's action at 7 o'clock Pacific, 10 o'clock Eastern, you will get to see Seattle at Edmonton, which features Kyler Yamamoto getting to play against the Oilers. Uh, so we'll see what the lineups look like, but it looks like Yamamoto's in the lineup for Seattle and saying it's going to be, you know, it's going to be kind of weird going against his former teammates and against the team he was playing on throughout his NHL career, but I'm sure it's going to be exciting from this season playing in Seattle and hopefully he has himself a really good year. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.